about you. We got things we're to talk about. You know, but it, come, just relax. Hey, me, hey. It'll let y'all act like 11 o'clock is early. It'll be fine. 11 o'clock at night is still late. Hey, Kenny, 11.30, we walking out of here. Man, how <laughs> old are you getting to be? <laughs> 11 o'clock at night is still late. Still late, man. man. How about your Boston Celtics tonight uh, well, the, getting it done on the road? Uh, impressive. The best team won. You know, they screwed around the other night. It was la lollygagging, and then Trey went <laughs> lolly crazy. Yeah, and Trey went crazy down the stretch. But they were the better. They, they had a better team. And now the fun starts. 11 nothing run in the fourth quarter. Critical in this one for the Celtics as we get to the highlights of game six in Atlanta. Trey Young coming off that game winner in a 38 point night in game five, forcing this game six. Jason Tatum takes nice. DeAndre. Man, that's Charles Barker like defense. Just let him go by you. Boston with an early six point lead. They would lead by 10 in the first quarter. The Trey. Starts lighting it up. He had 18 in the first quarter, Shaq. Yeah, he played great. You know, superstar project played great. Didn't have a good second half, but this half right here, he was on fire. Fire! One-point game after one. Celtics on top. Jalen Brown in the paint, spinning and hitting. Oh, man, I love watching this kid right here. Bogdan Bogdanovich nice left. off glass. And then Trey. Cass, you uh -huh. out. Hawks 60 to 53. But here comes here the comes, Celtics. Yes, here comes Stop Tatum the with the Euro. And Jalen Brown from deep. Yes, yeah, Celtics won two punch, had the perfect game. One had 30, one had 32. 68 67 Celtics at the break. Malcolm Brogdon, sixth man of the year. Little floater. But DeAndre Hunter launching for three. And then DeJounte Murray scoreless in the first half. Had 14. DeJounte Murray did in the second half. Tatum. Mm. Can't let the man dribble around the trap. That's one of the most useless double teams <clears throat> I've ever seen. <laughs> In the history how about, of the game. How about <laughs> that by Bogey? They're riding a the seesaw down there at State Farm. 15 oh, ties, 22 time. lead changes. It was a heck of a game. Yeah, really John was. Collins there for three. But this guy was pretty good. Jason, I mean, uh, Jalen Brown, Brown, his ability to score from the outside, the perimeter, get by you, hit timely big shots. That's part of that 13 to nothing run. This was an awful use of a challenge right here. Yeah, Joe Mazzula challenging that. It was ruled out of bounds off the Celtics. Challenge oh, unsuccessful. Oh, man. You know what's amazing? You think about Eric Spoelstra. You saved that uh, that challenge. It, it was a big difference in that game. Yeah, right? Jim Jackson mentioned that in doing the telecast. Yes, it turned out to be uh, inconsequential in this one. Look at the block there by Jalen Brown. Timely. Timely big plays, Ernie. Give me that! Oh, Orford off the mark with a great follow by Tatum. Mm, way to find. Smart. Yes. Austin opens it up to an eight-point lead. Atlanta not going quietly. Hunter cans the three, makes it a five-point game. And then Smart. He's got room. He passed the last two. Gave, took it to the rim itself. Trey Young couldn't find the rim at all in the fourth quarter. And then this you was, had this. This was one of the oh. dumb, this one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. We're gonna life. have the Celtics wearing cups, man. Uh, Ernie, they were talking about how hard this ball to get. It ain't that damn hard. <laughs> it ain't that damn hard to get a ball in bounds from the corner. Please stop it, guys. Yeah, that's impossible, Chuck. I've never seen it happen in an NBA game. I've never seen anybody throw the ball in for just like three times. No, and no. then eventually he just threw it over everybody and out of bounds. Uh, like, they they were talking about how hard it is to get the ball. No, it ain't. The hardest, I've never seen It's the hardest thing ever in basketball. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard if you're five foot one taking the ball. Yeah, that was the thing that yeah, was stupid. Well, then they switch the inbounder and still doing you, the same thing. But I'm saying, why would you have a little leprechaun throwing that ball in in the first place? Boston Celtics win it 128 to 120. Uh, they win the series four games to two. Tatum and uh, Jalen Brown, uh, you know, they 
They went for 30 plus in the same game for the first time in the postseason the other night. They do it again tonight, combining for 62. Marcus Smart big with 22 off the bench. Saw Horford hitting a big three, spent his first nine years with the Hawks, and uh, helps knock the Hawks out of the uh, first round. 128 to 120. What'd you think, Shaq? Oh, the Hawks played hard. You know, I think if Trey would have had a, a, a more decent second half, they definitely could have won the game. Or yeah, one for 13 in the but, second half. Oof. You know, you always, we, we always marvel over anybody's one-two punch, and the one-two punch for the Boston Celtics did what they were supposed to do. One had 30, one had 32, and the others played well. Horford hitting that shot, timely shot. Reminds me of the days of Big Shot Bob and B. Shaw and Rick Fox. When they're always there when you need them, and he didn't really get a lot of shots, but Marcus Smart knew he was going to be there, had the confidence to throw it to him, and it was a timely shot that he knocked down. After, after, after he hit that three, I knew the game was over. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's hear from Joe Mazzula, the uh, Celtics head coach. We had the proper spacing, and we made the proper reads, and um, you know, definitely different from game five, and um, I thought Smart was tremendous, uh, especially late in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, he got us organized, and then he, you know, was kind of the trigger man uh, because of their hits and uh, their blitzing, and he just made the right play. Yeah, you uh, you guys were kind of trying to do the short roll whenever they were showing two on the ball last game, and they were able to kind of squeeze you guys so you couldn't get it through. What, what did you adjust to tonight to be able to get through? Uh, we didn't adjust as much as we just passed the ball to the, to the open guy. And so, um, you know, I thought we made, you know, timely passes. And uh, I thought Smart made timely rolls and timely decisions at the rim. And... Jason and Jalen did a great job of baiting those uh, two-on-ones and keeping their poise. Bobby from B-Rock. Joe Al that it was going to be, you know, a battle. And a lot of plays made, you know, on both sides. Obviously, Tatum and Brown were a handful, which, you know, we expect. And we blitzed their pick and roll. We hit them from the, you know, high quadrant. And we hit them on the dribble, hit them on the pass. And... You know, when we didn't, you know, they were able to make plays. And when we did, um, you know, you're susceptible to the three. And, you know, we had some success in all those situations when they missed. But um, they had some guys hit some big shots as well. But we were, we were right there. So it's a, it's a tough game. They were right there, but an 11 nothing run. And talking about being susceptible to the three in Boston, hit 18 of them tonight, Chuck. Yeah, uh, you know, it, you can say what you want to. The best team won. Uh, Boston's got a terrific team. They are the favorite in the Eastern Conference uh, right now. And they've got home court throughout. Throughout. I mean, the, the, losing Milwaukee, um, that's going to be a terrific series between them and, the, and my Sixers. Uh, Joel's going to dominate, but it's going to come down to the perimeter players. Because uh, Joel's going to do what he does. He's probably going to win MVP, deservedly so. Going to be playing this series with a brace on his knee. Yeah, but that we, hey, <clears throat> all hands on deck, brother. I know yeah. it, they're, they're not here. But it's going to come down to Tobias Harris, Maxi, and James Harden. Those three guys going to have to play, a couple of them defensively. Uh, I would think defensively against. Uh, well, Tatum but I'm and saying Brown. though, like yeah. you got to figure out because, uh, and you got to score. Obviously, it's a simple game, but I, who are they going to put on Tatum? Who are they going to put on Brown? I would say Tobias Harris is going to guard, guard Tatum, and then Maxi will probably guard Brown. T too little. Who, what's I, your other I, alternative? I, I'm, I'm saying that that's that's the, that's going to be the problem for my Sixers. They can, uh, first of all, you can't guard those guys. I mean, I like Tobias Harris. But he's not going to stop either one of those guys. But they don't have a matchup for the other guy. That, that's the problem they got. So the only caveat, and I think James going to have a tough time with Marcus Smart because uh, he, he's not getting by people anymore. Uh, James not getting by people. He's to the point. With where, regularity. He's getting by, but not with regularity. James not getting by anybody right now. He's shooting step back threes. <laughs> Jeremy, you got that uh, that look ahead graphic on the Celtics and the uh, and the Sixers for that series. Throw that thing up there as we'll uh, take a gander. Celtics uh, taking three out of four. So the teams that opened the season against each other back on October 18th, when Tatum had 35 and 12 and Harden had 35, 8 and 7, uh, will now meet in the Eastern Conference semifinals. 
Celtics uh, and Sixers, 21 meetings in the postseason. Boston winning 14 of those. They last met in the bubble with the Celtics sweeping the Sixers. What do you make of it, big fella? Big fella wearing the knee brace concerns me. Boston will definitely be a lot more motivated. Listen, Hawks only got to worry about one guy. Kind of, kind of tough to get him out. I think they took him lightly. The Hawks play well, but Joel and B, the MVP, they're definitely going to be up for him. James Harden, all those guys are definitely going to be up. I don't think it's going to be an easy series for for either team. But big guys wearing knee braces that concerns me. If I was them, I'd put him in pick and roll all day, every day, to test that knee out. And then he he has trouble guarding Horford. He really does. I mean, not that he's guarding him. He has to help. They kick it out to Horford. Every time Horford plays, plays against Embiid, he has a big game. In their last meeting in April, Embiid 52, 13, and 6. What are you thinking about the, the Sixers and Celtics? My Sixers and my Celtics? <laughs> anyway, the, uh, what, as much as we're talking about, again, and that's where I was going on it. You said, it's funny you said that. How to guard Brown and Tatum. Like, I don't think there's anybody who can guard Embiid. And so now you have to double on a lot of occasions, and that's what frees Maxi Tobias Harris. Which we saw in the Brooklyn series Harden, time and time again. You know, yeah. For open shots. And they're, so, they're not going to double him. They're going to let him get 52. Yep. They're going to mm-hmm. let him. I, 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 I said, you know you do a I said that last series, you know, that well, I don't know what the hell Brooklyn was doing because they just let the whole house burn down. They had, they were, had fires going everywhere. So you let I him actually, get 52 points. I let, you know, you're not going to win a game with 52? Um, I actually watched Jimmy that Butler game. Did. Uh, yeah, but that's a different animal. This, this team got uh, better players than the Bucks do, other than Giannis. Wow. They do. They, 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 if Giannis doesn't get hurt, they, they're the NBA, uh, they I'm not be saying NBA that, but champions. I'm saying Boston, uh, well, we, we don't know that. But They've I'm saying, done it already. Yeah, yeah that, but that was in the past. We're living right now in the present. You Brown, don't think Brown, that was a championship team? I, I, th- I thought they were, but they clearly not. All right. But I'm telling you, with Tatum and Brown, they are better. You take away Giannis, they're better than anybody uh, by far that the Bucks got. Not even close. 128, 120. That's your final score. Uh, Boston in six over Atlanta. Chuck can spell any word with the word E. <laughs> That's pretty funny, <laughs> Nick. Yeah, Papa you know. Demetrio. Trio. You got it right the first time. That was yeah. good. Uh, watching Chuck and CPR. Hawk word. Hawk word. It was dodgeball. Dodge a wrench, dodge a ball.